Two people found murdered on Cleveland's west side just days and miles apart. And now the FBI is waiting to see if the two separate cases could be hate crimes. News Channel 5's Tracy Carlos was on your side in that community today. And Tracy, people who live there understandably are on edge. Yeah, Chris, for sure, you know, a range of emotions as friends of the victims are dealing with their grief and Cleveland police are searching for their killers. Karen Gross and her husband started the group Trans Family of Cleveland nearly 25 years ago. It is a support group for transgender individuals and their families that meets once a month. Betty Skinner was a member of the group. She was a very pleasant person. She had cerebral palsy and talking was difficult. She was in a wheelchair. She had an aid that brought her to the group. The 52-year-old Skinner was found dead on Thursday in her West Side apartment. A day later, Brittany Sturgis, another transgender person, was found shot to death in a car on the West Side. Phyllis Harris is the executive director of the LGBT Community Center of Greater Cleveland. It's very raw. It's very real. Um, there's there's anger. There's fear, fear. There's outrage. There's um, folks who want to take action and take positive action. Right now, Cleveland police say the two murders of the transgender people are not connected, but they have not made any arrests and they are trying to piece together exactly what happened. The FBI says they are ready to help the Cleveland Police Department if needed. They do their investigation, and once the motivation is determined, uh, the motive behind the crime. Then they let us know, and we can look at it as a hate crime if it is deemed one. Karen Gross started Trans Family of Cleveland all those years ago because you see, she is the mother of a transgender child and was looking for support back then. Now she is ready to give support to the transgender community that is grieving. And the LGBT community is asking city leaders and police and members of the community to attend a meeting on Sunday to talk about the issues in the community. And in the meantime, if you have any information about these two murders, you are asked to call Cleveland Police. On your side, live in Cleveland, Tracy Carlos, News Channel 5.